we gotta send it a little bit. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Oh! Whoa! Oh! Oh my God! Hey, oh my God! Guys, today I'm gonna show you how to get true instant throttle response without the need for an $80 throttle body spacer or even a $500 tune. Actually. All you're gonna need for this mod is uh, two or three zip ties, and in my case, all it took was just one of these fat bad boys. All right, now a quick disclaimer before we begin. The throttle cable zip tie mod only works on Crown Vicks from the 1998 to the 2004 model years, or pretty much on any Panther car that has a throttle operated by a physical cable. See it? Only if you got one of these boys. Sadly, this will not work if your Crown Vic has an electronic throttle control. Take the Cobra Vic, which is a 2006. Let me show you guys. If you got one of these, it will not work. And this is why I preach over and over again. The most mod-friendly Panther cars are always going to be the cable-driven ones. So the mod that we're about to do to my 2002 LX Sport is the throttle cable zip tie mod. Actually, this is an OG poor man's mod from the Mustang world. And guess what? Since these cars are essentially four-door Mustangs, the same mod can be applied too. Now what a lot of people don't know is that every cable-driven Panther car actually shares this safety feature with the Mustangs. And that is accelerator pedal slack if you notice there's a little bit of play and slack on your throttle cable that's connected to your accelerator pedal actually there's a crap ton of slack and play look at the difference between where the brake pedal is and the accelerator well when we're done with this modification boys this bad boy is going to be even with your brake pedal but yeah check that out now the reason for that is in case your foot slips off the gas or if it's been a rainy day and your shoes are wet or your foot ac accidentally slips and presses the accelerator, there's a slight delay before your car actually starts moving forward. So this mod is literally a poor man's pedal commander mod that you see people doing to newer model cars. So as you guys are soon about to find out, this modification is incredibly simple. It's gonna take no more than maybe 30 seconds to one minute so without further ado guys let me show you guys the crown victoria throttle zip tie mod this is your accelerator pedal we're gonna go up and you're gonna find the grommet that's hooked up to your accelerator pedal you see it just slides right in down to that hole where you're gonna want to free it up and then that's where we're gonna put our zip ties we're gonna create a space between this slot where that accelerator grommet, uh, whatever that piece that holds the accelerator cable to your pedal, what we wanna do is we wanna create a space to kind of pull it through its uh, slot where it originally goes. Let me see if I can kind of show you guys. And to be honest, all it really takes is just one zip tie between that space right behind the grommet. You add one more zip, which is one zip tie right behind that grommet, just create that quarter inch worth of space this is about the slack that it has now it's always gonna have just a little bit but let me show you guys without the zip tie look at this look at the slack it has now without the zip tie in let's put the zip tie back on also I recommend using a uh, bigger size zip tie because it actually jams up really good right there where the grommet goes that way it can't get out and as you guys can see that bigger zip tie has created the gap the perfect gap the perfect spacing to i'll show you in a second to prevent that uh, accelerator pedal slack and at the same time it's big enough that end is big enough where it won't come out of the the little slot where the grommet goes through and you have a perfectly tight throttle cable. Look at the look at the slack it has now without the zip tie in. And this is the slack now 
almost no slack whatsoever compared to where it used to fall like almost down here all the way down here now there's almost no slack there's gonna be a little bit of play just a little bit but that thing was almost all the way down here and it's almost completely flush with your brake pedal so right off the bat the first impressions is the car that the accelerator pedal is way higher that's freaking awesome i i it's hard to explain because this because this pedal usually sits so much lower it almost sits all the way down here the accelerator pedal is right there guys so right off the bat that's the first thing you're going to feel the accelerator pedal is going to be right there it's ready to go at all times let's give it a little rev see what it see what it feels like here we go oh my god dude it is such a weird feeling it's a lot more firmer and it's a lot closer all right now one thing i want you guys to keep in mind is that this isn't this doesn't give your car extra horsepower or anything like that it just gives you a quicker off the line acceleration not only because your accelerator pedal position has now changed it's a lot closer to your foot but that extra slack that was off it's it's taut and it's ready to take off oh crap there's a little bit of wetness here we gotta send it a little bit let's see let's see what happens send it a little bit oh whoa oh oh my god okay um uh what the f my wife was following me in the back i literally left her in the dust holy crap i was not expecting that okay in all fairness there was gravel and the road was a little bit wet but we're gonna do another couple little pulls and put this thing to the test because I got the dumbest goofiest smile on my face right now Holy crap another thing I noticed while driving with the with the throttles at time odd is that It's actually a little bit easier to drive your foot just kind of rests on the accelerator So if you're cruising you don't even have to really get on the accelerator You don't have to kind of depress too hard on it. All it takes is your foot just resting my foot is literally just resting on the accelerator and I'm going. Little pull here. Let's get it. Woo! Get him. Hands down, this is the easiest modification I've ever done on a Panther car. It, the entire thing installed in about 30 seconds. All I did was slightly loop the zip tie i already had it into a loop and then i just put it over that grommet and just and just gave it a nice little pull and that was pretty much it the entire thing took up maybe 30 seconds maybe a minute tops all right guys so i'm gonna do a uh, dead stop pull and uh show you guys exactly what i'm talking about how your off the line acceleration is now so much quicker Okay, so now that we have completed and done our throttle cable zip tie mod, you guys might be asking yourself, or if you've been watching the video, you're thinking, what are the benefits to just leaving your Crown Vic stock? Well, for starters, it's great for track racing. If you track race your Crown Vic, whether it's autocross, time attack, any of that, it's also perfect for off the line acceleration. As I showed you guys earlier, where I nearly spun out into a ditch and it's technically safer since now your accelerator pedal sits pretty much even with your brake pedal so it takes that split second less to lift your foot off the accelerator and depress the braking literally just slide your foot over and you're already depressing on your brake if you are in some kind of stressful braking situation or if you're track racing it's great for that too but i have to warn you guys your accelerator will now essentially be on a hyper sensitive hair trigger do this modification at your own risk. I, this is just so you guys can see it. If you wanna try it maybe off-road on a track or something like that, I wouldn't recommend you do this on a regular daily driving basis because if you don't do a good job at, at bridging that gap between that grommet and the slot where it's held at, your um, the cable can actually just slip up and out and then you're gonna lose 
the tension on which is going to cause you to literally lose acceleration you're not even going to be able to do anything because the slack is gone your cable is going to come off and come loose you're going to push the accelerator you can be on the highway you can be anywhere and you're screwed so if you're going to go to the track if you're going to do some street racing whatever you're going to do then just you know literally just i left mine on to the point where i can just pick it up and put the zip tie right back up over it and the mod is turned on and if i'm going to be doing some daily driving long trips or whatever literally just slide the zip tie out literally just slide the zip tie back and just re-put your regular stock grommet and you're back to daily driving conditions i would not recommend this just leaving it on and just driving because one day it's going to come off and you're going to be screwed so don't say I didn't warn you and don't say I didn't tell you to do this at your own risk. Either way, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Once again, coming through with you guys for another quick, affordable, poor man's because we are all on a budget. We all, I don't know, well, yeah, we all kind of broke. Anyways, it's that broke life. We about that broke life. We got to do what we can with these boats. And, uh, you know, your boy's helping you out with a little mod. It makes a little bit of difference. Hey, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Nobody else is showing you guys. So either way, it's your boy, Mr. Random. I'll catch you guys on the next Crown Victoria, Mercury Marauder, Cobra Roush. I got the off-road Vic getting a three-inch lift kit. What am I doing? I'm going crazy, man. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take it easy.